Man, sometimes these fighters, you know, be confused with me about what they be saying. And, um, you know, I just think they just be feeling, you know, differently, you know, every other day. Shout out, this your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with the boxing clinic. And, um, you know, current, I think he's the WBC lightweight champion. Mikey Garcia is stepping up to 140 pounds versus AB Adrian Broner, the problem child, um, July 29th. And then, you know, he said he wanted to go back to 135 and... and uh, which is lightweight and conquer that. But, you know, now he's talking about Manny Pacquiao. Now, but what's funny, before I get into the little Pacquiao talk that he's having, um, what's funny about this is is that, um, you know, he said that he was willing to jump up this summer to face Keith Thurman before he got injured to 147 pounds. And then he said, you know, um, he wouldn't fight Adrian Boner any other weight but 140 pounds. So I don't, I don't get what's the difference. I would, I would, you know, believe that Keith Thurman is the bigger threat, but Adrian Broner would bring more money anyway. So I don't really understand the, um, the mindset behind that. He seems like a confused individual. And then he says after the Broner fight, he wants to go back down to lightweight. But now he's talking about fighting Manny Pacquiao, you know. And, you know, I think he's really biting off more than he can chew trying to fight Pacquiao. You know, I don't think Pacquiao was going to compromise all the way back down to 140. I don't care what they say, how small he is, or how many calories he got of stuff to make 147 pounds. You know, and, and Freddie Rose said Mikey Garcia is one of those guys that, you know, he wants to he wants Pacquiao to fight. That's the fight that they like. It's popular, and it will sell. But I, I just think, you know, Mikey is moving up. No matter what he looks like versus Broner, he can look stunning. You know, excellent. But, you know, his weight class is for a reason. And jumping him too fast, you know, can fuck up your career. And you're a guy... They lost a lot of money over the last two or three years before coming back last year. And, um, you know, I understand the Pacquiao fight, it'll be a good fight, but it's still not a mega fight to me. You know, for him, it might bring five, six million dollar paydays, but I don't think it's a big pay-per-view fight that anybody is really, you know, you know, going to pay and check for it. Depending on what he looks like, Broner, though. If he looks fantastic being Broner, that fight really will pick up some uh, some steam and, and, and really, you know, be be good for some fans that want to see it, though. But at the end of the day, uh, Team Pacquiao wants to take every route but the Terrence Crawford route, the Earl Spence route, and the Keith Thurman route. He wants to fight everybody other than the guys that we want to see him fight or he's supposed to fight. You know, and, and that's his doing now. He's got control of what he wants to do. You know, Bob Arum can't make him do shit no more, obviously. Because if he could make him do something, he would pass the torch with Terrence Crawford by now. You know, he wants to continue to make Pacquiao happy. He, he would love to cash out Pacquiao and hand the torch, torch over to, to Terrence Crawford, Bob Arum. But Pacquiao don't want that shit. He wants a lot of money. You know, he said he wants the $20 million that he usually gets to fight Terrence Crawford. And I, and I don't think Mikey Garcia would bring that either, but he just feels more confident in being Mikey Garcia. That just tells you the respect that Terrence Crawford got in his boxing world right now amongst his peers. You know, if, if Manny Pacquiao came out right now and said, I fight Terrence Crawford after the Jeff Horn fight, you know, Crawford would drop the indigo fight with the quickness. He would drop those belts and and, and uh, start getting ready for Pacquiao. You know, and people out here thinking Pacquiao is sweet lit. You know, they think Pacquiao ain't got it no more. And um, you know, and that's his tentativeness. But at the same time, he could still be tentative. And, and and and, but I still think he's a confident individual. You know, I think he can beat anybody out there on any given day. I'm not one of these guys that think he's completely over the hill. But Mikey Garcia definitely biting off more than he can chew right here. You know, moving in way too fast. And um, depending on how you look for Broner, that's not a sure thing that he beats Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner is a set, uh, is said to be the strongest fighter by Marcus Madonna that he ever faced. The hardest puncher as well. And um, that's something to be said. Coming from Madonna, who fought the likes of Victor Ortiz, who was a big, strong punching guy. Fought Amir Khan, who was a big 140-pounder. Um, fought Devin Alexander, lost to him. You know, he fought a lot of guys. Lozito Lopez, Floyd Mayweather. So, you know, he's been in there with a lot of different guys. And that's some, and that's, that's some caution for, for Mikey Garcia. But as far as Pacquiao, man, he just needs to do what he's supposed to do. You know, but at worst case scenario, I'll, I'll take a Mikey Garcia fight before I take another Jeff Warren type fight for sure. But um, both of these guys, you know, I don't know where the connection is. I understand the connection is the rivalry between uh, Robert Garcia and Freddie Roach, the trainer. Um, both going back, trainer of the year. And, and, you know, and recycling fighters in between each other. So, it's a, it's a rivalry there. And Mikey is their ultimate peer. You know, he's their ultimate student. And Pacquiao is Freddie's ultimate student. So, why not let them collide? You know, Garcia, feel, they feel like Garcia's the truth. Freddie feels like Pacquiao the truth. So, it's something I wouldn't mind seeing. But, you know, it is.